How we doing everyone? My name is Stephen Simmons. I'm a trainer in St. Louis, Missouri. I own Conquer Balance Performance LLC and I train at this beautiful Merge Fitness Training in St. Charles, Missouri. I work with all kinds of people. That's athletes, that's those that are um, coming from rehab, that's those that are elderly, and all the way down to kids. I believe that I can help you be able to do all the physical things that you ever want to do, that you ever could do. I am working with Nabosu for a great workout for you. It's going to be about 25 minutes, going to be a little bit of high intensity, a little bit of lower, really working on the feet, the stability of the hips, all the way through the rest of your body. So the only two things you're going to need is two dumbbells. Any size does not matter that much. We're going to be doing a lot of things where we're focused on maintaining our stability throughout the entire movements and then also really getting a good, good full body workout. All right, so we're going to start with just getting a little bit of separation in our hips, a little bit more than shoulder width. We're just going to slowly work our way from one femur to the next. Think about opening those toes up, really allowing our foot to really make contact with this nabosu. I really like this for allowing me to really feel myself grounding um, all the way into each one of my feet. So we're just gonna slowly work our way over. You see me turning my hips just a little bit as I rotate all the way over, putting all my weight on one leg, rotating it over to the other. So what I'm doing here with my hips is I'm thinking about pulling myself across and then catching myself with the glute and pulling back across with the other one. So I do like to do this for about um, eight or nine reps each side and really just get that contact through my feet, slowly but surely working my way, opening up and loosening the hips. So I'm gonna do this for about two more reps each side. Let yourself really feel all the sensation through the feet and rest, take a little break, shake it out just a little bit. I'm gonna do that same thing, give yourself about 20 seconds I'll do it again. So go ahead and get grounded again. Open those toes up. Get grounded in. Feel those balls of your feet really grabbing onto the ground. And let's rotate those hips. I like to try to get that knee right in line with the big toe. Hip right here with it. Push back over. Pull myself through that groin all the way over to the other side. And back. I really feel the connection between all the joints, so my hip joint all the way through my knees as they're rotating over, all the way through my ankles into my big toe. As we focus here, I'm thinking about breathing in and out, in the nose, out the mouth, and really focusing on keeping my core braced the entire time. Chest stays up. I'm gonna do about three more reps each. Really focus on where those feet are opening those toes, think about spreading them out wide. Sometimes if I have to, and if I don't feel myself really grounding yet, I will pull those toes up and then relax them down. Really thinking about spreading as we go. And rest, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. And we're gonna take that same thing, that same thought, rotating our femurs over to the opposite hip. We're gonna go into a knee up. So we're gonna do, start the same way. We're gonna rotate over and pull into a knee up. I like to raise that arm, just kind of thinking about getting into a running motion. Still, everything else is working the exact same way. Coming in, really working those feet, grounding all the way through that mat. I love using this for my athletes as an activation exercise, just getting them ready to do explosive movements, controlling the hips, controlling where my feet are, really thinking about focusing on using my foot to control everything upstream. As you see, as I bring that knee up, I'm coming tall, I'm squeezing through the glute. Think about staying up as straight as possible. I'm gonna do about three more reps each side. Let that hip open up. Come wide, rotate over, knee up. Over, knee up, last two. And one. And rest, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. So as we're doing this, we're activating obviously our glutes. 
getting our feet active. I feel like you're walking on clouds when I get off this, which is why I love it, especially for the athletes, because it allows them to be a lot more explosive, a lot more sprinting. Um, and then also as we're doing this, we're working on that core the whole time. So we're thinking about keeping the brace as we rotate and as we come up and stabilize ourselves. So I'm gonna do that same thing one more time. Do about eight to 10 reps. I really like to fill it out. I don't really necessarily keep a rep count, but more so make sure that I'm really working on grounding, activating, and feeling good and loose. All right, so same thing. I'm gonna start to our right side. So rotate over, get that knee all the way in line with that big toe. Squeeze the glute up. Take your time, work it back. As you see also, I'm keeping a pretty moderate pace. I'm not rushing through anything. I'm letting everything kind of control itself and go as I'm doing this, allowing me to really worry about the activation. Squeezing all the way through the hip, everyone. Good, maintain the control. So you're gonna to start to notice as I warm up more, you're gonna see me get a lot more of a push as I rotate over. Just that's me kind of getting a little looser, kind of getting a little bit more active and getting ready for some more explosive movements. As I stabilize up, I'm thinking about breathing out. So here I'm rotating over and breathe out. Which is gonna help me activate that core and maintain that stability. Really focus on that sensation that you get in your feet as you're rotating over. And last one. And rest, shake it out, shake it out. Now we're gonna come into my next movement, which is gonna be a side lunge. So very similar to what we've been doing, focus on that rotation, but now we're gonna kinda add a little bit more of the explosive movement to come out of. So, shoulders back, we're gonna come into our side lunge, rotate all the way over, get here, and we're gonna bring it back. So again, side lunge, keep that foot grounded, rotate all of our weights over here, and back up. I'm gonna do just five reps. And back. Two more. Should feel a good stretch on this inside part of the opposite leg. Feel that hamstring starting to activate as we're loading it down. And then I push back. And we're gonna walk it over. Same thing on the opposite side. So step over, focus on that foot, rotate that hip over, get that stretch in the inside, and push back. Rotate over, get that hip, and push back. Two. So to feel that hamstring as I pull down, push through. Find a hamstring, find a hamstring, four. And rest, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Now we're gonna to start to get into a little bit more Well, we're adding explosion. So we're gonna rotate over, back to the other side. We're gonna do that same side lunge, but we're gonna come up into a knee up. So we're kind of putting together the last two movements we've done. So here we're gonna do five reps again. We're gonna come into our side lunge, rotate it over, and we'll push. Still stabilizing with that foot and bring it down, and lunge over, rotate over, get that hip in line, squeeze our foot, and squeeze, squeeze that glute to hold you there. And again, coming down, hamstring pulls you down, and push, good. Rotate over, hip coming down, push. Last one, coming over, rotate it, chest stays up, and push. And same thing, opposite side. Rotate over and down. Take your time, find that hamstring, and push. And down, rotate over. Again, hamstring, pull you down, keep that hip, knee in line, and push. Come to that knee up. And again, rotate over, drop the hip down, and push. Down, rotate over. Get in line and push. Good, last two. Rotate over, drop it down, push. Rotate over, come down, and push. 
and relax. Good. All right, so for our next movement, we're gonna work on the hamstring. So we activated the lateral, and now we're working on the hamstring. So what we're gonna do is similar to what we were doing earlier, but we're gonna come down into a straight linear split squat. So we're gonna step down, come down, straight down. All my weight is in that front heel. I'm dropping straight, and I'm coming back up. So straight down, drop that knee down, weight to the front foot in that heel, and push back. Down, hamstring pulls me down, weight to the front foot, and back. Down, ground that foot, ground that foot, back heel is up, and push. Last one, drop straight down, stay tall, and push, switch legs. And straight down, weights in that front foot again, squeezing those heels, and back. And down, same thing, open those toes, and push. Come straight down, drop that knee, that knee doesn't hit the ground, it stays off the ground, and I'm pushing. Get all my weight in that front heel, come down, feel that hamstring working, and back, last one, and down. Still staying upright and push and relax. From there, we're going to go to an RDL. So, same type of motion, except for we're going to stand on one leg and we're going to come up with the opposite leg. So, squeeze that, that back loop. We're rotating down into our hinge, feeling that hamstring activate, really working that foot strength. And we're coming back up and down. Work that foot, keep on those, opening those toes, feel that hamstring activate, and squeeze up. Really, really help it with the foot. As long as you have it grounded, you'll be able to stay in this balance. And squeeze, really get a good stretch on that hamstring. Same thing, we got two more. Holding it here. Last one, keeping that chest up. Squeeze in the glute. And back. Same thing, opposite side. Come down, squeezing that glute, keeping that foot in line. And uh, open those toes, open those toes. Last two. Keep squeezing those feet. Four, last one. Coming down, squeeze and control, control and down. Five, relax, relax. Last one we're doing for the hamstring to start is we're coming knee up, open, and from here we're going down. So this is really challenging that balance, really challenging that foot strength, and working on that hip mobility. So come knee up, open that hip, and come down. Same hinge we did before. We're just adding a little bit of fun to it. And back. And up. Open. And hinge. So, a lot of you all will probably be able to open that hip up a little bit farther than I can. But go to what your range of motion is. If you have to stop right here, go ahead and stop right there. If you can get all the way out here, go ahead and do that. Maintain that foot though. That's the most important part is that foot and then allowing those hips to move the way that they can move. Just keep on working it, keep on pushing it and progress. So I'll switch legs, open it up, knee out. And notice how my chest is staying straight, my spine is staying straight. I'm maintaining my posture. I'm coming all the way up, I'm straight up and down. Knee up, bring it out and hinge, squeeze, knee up, bring it out, hinge, bring it back, last two, knee up, open it out, and hinge.
and rest. All right, now it's time to start adding resistance. So we did our whole warm up. Now we add the dumbbells. So I have 20 pound dumbbells here, super light, nothing super heavy, but we're gonna be able to get a great workout in with just these. Some of the things you do, you will not even need dumbbells. You can just use just your body weight. If you want to, go ahead and add more, or you can take it away less. Also, you can also do all these things with the kettlebell if you choose. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start double leg. We're gonna come into a squat. Those hips should be pretty good and loose now. Those feet should be pretty good and activated. We're still gonna use them, and we're gonna force our way all the way through each one of these movements. So we're gonna start with a squat, just your regular squat. Coming down, really grab those feet, focus on that strength, and squeeze the glutes up. We're gonna do 12 here. So right after that squat, we're gonna go straight into a superset, where we're gonna to go to a single leg movement, where it's gonna be just like that split squat we were doing, gonna add a little explosion to it. So we're gonna come into our split squat, same way we work, coming straight down, but as we come up, we're gonna to drive to a knee up. So straight down into that split squat, drive to a knee up. Both dumbbells right here in my hand. We're doing 12 reps on each leg. So if you need to, go ahead and drop one of those dumbbells. You can do the exact same movement with just one dumbbell or one kettlebell. Same thing, coming into that split squat, driving it down. Notice how my back foot has the heel up. I got all my weight in that front foot. I'm pushing straight through to a knee up. Squeezing my abs, staying tall at the end. All right, so we're gonna go through three sets, 12 reps each. So I'm gonna grab my dumbbells and let's go through it. So with my squat, I wanna maintain control. I'm gonna do it goblet style, but we're gonna have it where our thumbs are pointed up. So we're gonna be right here, squeeze those feet, come down slow, we'll move about three seconds on the way down, and squeeze up. Really focus on those hamstrings pulling you down, grip those feet, and squeeze, two. Come down, control, keep those abs strong, Three, four, stay straight, five, squeeze those glutes at the top, six, three, breathe out, seven, eight, drill those feet down, nine, ten, Clap it. Last one. Twelve. Good. Come straight to our split squat. Again, you can do this with one dumbbell or you can have both. Up to you. Gonna come down to our split squat. Coming down slow. And push to the up. And down. Push to that knee up. And right back down. Push to a knee up. Down. Push to a knee up. Three. Doing 12. Push to a knee up. Four. Coming down. Push to a knee up. Five. Push to a knee up. Six. Push. Seven. Good squeeze. Eight. Nine. Down. Control it. Ten. Ooh, recover, recover. Sorry, if you mess up. Come right back into it. Eleven. Feel a little fatigue. Sorry. Twelve. And switch sides. Down. Up. One. Bring that knee up. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Seven, stay strong, up, eight, breathe up, up, nine, up, ten, find that hamstring in the front, find that hamstring, 
Not be squeeze glued. Grab me. And drop those dumbbells. Take a break. So, it's a little more explosive than some people are going to be used to. Um, but it gives you a good amount of activation. It gets the heart rate going. Um, and I love it because it's controlled, yet still is very explosive and you don't need much weight. So we're going to do two more sets of these. I'm going to let my heart rate go down a little bit. I usually take about 60 seconds in between and really start to work it, control all the movements. Even when I start getting tired, I really focus on that control of my feet, focus on the control of my core, and focusing on allowing my hips to open up. So, same thing, 12 reps, grab your dumbbells, and also, if you need to, go ahead and drop one. Go ahead, feel free to gobble it this way, or if you want to, gobble it this way. Most important part is that we're front weighted, so all the weight is in the front of our chest. Coming back here, and I'll get back in that position, get those feet locked in, corkscrew them down, and we're working out. And squeeze, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Really working those abs. Coming down slow. Nine, clock those feet. Think about ten, all of those toes being spread, connected with the ground. Last one here. Twelve. Good. And let's rotate it over into our split squat. We're gonna take our time. Really think about connecting with the hamstring in the front foot. And we got 12. Hand down. Hand up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Up. Five. Down. Bring the hip up higher. Up, seven, down. Don't get away, just like I am. Up, eight, down. Connect. Up, nine, down. Up, ten. Up, eleven, down. Up, twelve. Switch legs. Same thing. Twelve on this side. And down, connect with that hamstring. Up. Ooh, that was a bad one. All right, switch legs and come down. Up. One. Down. Up. Two. Down. Breathe out. Up. Three. Down. Up. Four. Down. Push up. Up. Five. Ooh. Down. Connect, push, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, push, up, ten, down. I'm actually driving out this front foot, up, eleven, down, up, twelve, and take a break. Set two, done. Got one more set left. 12 reps of each, 36 reps all together. So like I said, take about a minute break in between. Let your body recover a little bit. Get ready for that last set. Now, right now, your feet should feel like you're walking on clouds. Uh, you should be pretty used to this texture. Um, and really starting to feel yourself sinking into the ground and being able to bounce off of this texture straight up into that knee up. The best part about this, I think, is that it allows you to mentally fall in to strengthening your feet and using those feet and really gripping without thinking about it. Uh, you kind of get used to that texture 
you kind of start feeling your weight sink into it. And then when you step off of it, go back onto your shoes, put your socks on. You really just feel yourself kind of gripping the ground a lot easier and kind of just doing it and not, not mentally thinking about it. When you first step on the mat, like at least me, when I first step on this mat, I start thinking about really focusing on planting my feet in the ground, really pushing through that mat, feeling that texture. That's why I always start with those side to side movements into the knee ups because it allows me to really rotate the hips and then really get into that ground and feel. All right, enough talking. Last set, we got work to do. Let's finish it out. Back to our goblets, 12 reps. Control, take your time, and let's go down. And squeeze, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, twerk those feet, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, squeeze those abs, breathe out, nine, 10, 11, last one, 12, good. Now the fun part, let's get explosive. Come into that lunge, take your time, down, and push up, one, down, and push, two, down, push, three, down, Push, four, down, push, five, down, push, six, down, push, down, push up, eight, down, push up, nine, down, push up, two, down, push up, Last one, push up, switch legs. Check it out if you need to, I definitely need to. And same thing on the opposite side. Come down, explode up, one, down. Explode up, squeeze glute, two, down. Hand train, explode up, three, down. Explode, four, down, explode. Five, explode, six, down, explode out, seven, down, push, eight, down, push up, nine, down, push up, ten, down, push up, last one, push, and down. drop those weights. So, we worked the explosion out of our squat into a split squat. Now it's time to get into some hinges. So with our hinge, we want to focus on activating the hamstring along with our glutes and centering on that feet. So I like to do something where I'm double leg once just for really getting that drill down on the hips, on the hamstrings, double leg and then going into a single leg movement where I'm focusing on each individual hamstring on its own, really isolating and really controlling it all the way through the motion. So we're gonna grab our dumbbells again. We're gonna come even foot. So we wanna be about shoulder width apart. We're just gonna do a simple hinge. So what I like to do is add a little bit of variety to it. So we're gonna have both our dumbbells. We're gonna have them right at our side. We're gonna come down to that hinge like an RDL. So I think about pushing those butt back, squeezing the chest up, feeling those hamstrings. And we're gonna hold right here, but we're gonna add a little bit and go to a lateral raise. So we should still feel those hamstrings working. Getting a good amount of stability through. Still squeezing those feet. But now we're just working a little bit more of the upper body as we do it. So I like to go about 15 reps. I don't usually really count them, more so just go until I got about two reps left in the tank. And rest. And this really just allows me 
to get those hamstrings activated, but not consistently think about them. So they say I activate it, I'm staying in that same position, but I'm kind of letting them just kind of go on their own while my shoulders are really burning and it's taking my mind off of it. You don't want to focus on so many things at once. Those hamstrings kind of go to by the wayside when those shoulders start to burn for me. So I'm gonna do the same thing one more time. Again, just really doing one double leg movement just to get those hamstrings awake, keep them active, thinking about the long stretch they're going through. And same thing. Squeeze those abs, come into that hinge, find those hamstrings. Once you get those hamstrings, get those feet locked in and go to your lateral raise. So you don't have to use heavy resistance on these. You can do these body weight, you can do these with five pound dumbbells, a kettlebell, or just a milk jug, anything you got around the house. You can get plenty of stamina. As I'm starting to fatigue right now, I'm gonna stop and come back up. And I'm getting ready for my single leg movement. So, like I said, one double leg movement, just really to get everything activated before I get to a single leg hamstring movement. So, I'm gonna drop one dumbbell, I only need one. And here we're gonna go into an ISO hold. So, the thing I really like about the ISO hold is that you're still working those hamstrings, similar to how we just were, but you're staying in that remote position really focusing on yourself to you really jam through those feet, maintain that stability the whole time and your core is working overtime. So, I'm gonna have my dumbbell on the leg that's going back, so I'm gonna have my right leg going back to start with. I'm gonna plant that left leg in the ground. I'm gonna reach back into our heel, and I'm gonna bring this shoulder towards the foot, really working that T-spine, get this other shoulder up, almost like a yoga move. I'm not good at yoga, but Either way, I like to do it sometimes. And really now, I'm focusing on that hamstring. Really got this glute working over time, abs are working over time, and then I'm adding a little bit of T-spine movement in there. Hold for about 20 seconds. And up. switch sides, same thing. And coming down, take that hip straight up. Come all the way down until I find that hamstring. And I'm twisting. So notice how I'm turning my back. My hips are staying parallel to it. So I'm not letting my hips sink until I'm really trying to drill. If you start to fall down, grab that foot. Really think about that foot. That foot will hold you there. Feel that hamstring working and coming up. So I'm gonna do that two times. One more of these holds. These are very good for introducing yourself to the explosion you're gonna do to those hamstrings. Really getting that muscle to lengthen. And let's go, same thing, one more time. Hips underneath, squeeze those abs, coming down, one leg at a time, and rotate. Really think about reaching. If you can, go ahead and turn that dumbbell parallel to that leg. Really working it. Squeezing those feet, shoulders out. Try to concentrate on that breathing. And uh, switch sides. Same thing, kicking it back, reaching that leg down. Concentrate, control, and turn. Dumbbells, check it out. Check it out. Next one, we're gonna combine two. So we're gonna turn our lateral and our explosion all the way into one move. Well, what I want you to see is what we, I like to call it clean, but it's not really it's kind of a clean snatch, it's kind of a hybrid. Um, I like to use dumbbells for this because it allows for a little bit better shoulder range of motion. So coming down into our RDL, same single leg RDL we're doing. And we're going to think about coming straight up overhead as we bring our knee in. So, if I do a slow pace, I'm coming straight down into that RDL, up, bring it up, and overhead. 
straight back down and reset. So all the way down into the RDL, up, turn and press, and down and reset. As we come up from our RDL, if you can't feel comfortable coming here, go ahead and stop here. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with stopping here. I'm going to do a mixture of them both. But the most important part is that power coming from here up to here. This hip part is an important part. As long as we're here, we're squeezing through that hip to bring ourselves up, we're getting all the activation we need. This is just adding more to the shoulder as we go overhead. So if you need to, go ahead and come here and stop here. That's fine. All right, make sure that hip is squeezing straight through, whether you're coming here or you're just coming to here. I'm gonna do it from the side, just so you can see. So, as we're coming down, reaching back, knee up. Coming down, and up. One more time, kicking straight back, down, up, or down, up. So that's the first one. Second one is gonna be our side lunge again, the same one we were doing earlier. So we're gonna step out into our side lunge. Both of our dumbbells are gonna go into the outside part of that leg. Here, we're gonna push all the way over into our knee. Reset. All right, so we're gonna do both those movements, but we're gonna put them together. So how we put them together is single leg coming down and into our RDL, straight up. And to our side lunge, knee up, back, and reset. So down, all the way up, out, reach, and back. We got five reps each side, two sets of it. So we want to focus on the control. I take a little bit short, longer rest period just because it's going to get your heart rate up quite a bit more than the last one did. But we're really focused on maintaining our control the entire way through. All right, so we want the explosion, but we want it to be controlled. So coming down, single leg, straight from here, straight up, into our lunge, knee up. That's one. Back down, straight up, lunge, back up, two. Back up, knee up, down, and up, three, back down, yep, Woo. catch myself, down, and up, lunge out, yep, down, and up, go over to the other side, and come down, yep, lunge it out, and down. One. Down. Yep. Over. And push. So connect with that foot. And down. Yep. Hold it out. And down. Yep. Coming up. And down. Yep. Bring it up and and rest. Alright. So one more set. Take a nice little break in between. As we're at an explosion, we want to still maintain that control the whole way. So we don't want to get where we're getting unbalanced. If you do get unbalanced, go ahead and bring that foot down. But try to maintain that balance the whole way. Work through that whole range of motion and really focus on activating all the way through that foot. Keep that connection. We work this on to maintain and develop that connection. Keep it that whole way through. Feel your foot on those on that texture and really, really focus on getting as much explosion through that hip as you can. Really you should feel a lot of glute, a whole lot of hamstring, and a little bit those adductors as you come into that lunge. Need about another 30 seconds. 
go ahead and pick those dumbbells up. If you want, you can do all these things with single the dumbbell. So if you want to, go ahead and drop one. Always use that opposite hand of the leg that's going back. So, or the leg that's staying still. So the leg is going back, it's coming back. And we're gonna reach and coming straight up. Power. And last set. And it's coming down. Coming in RDL, rotate to the other leg. Keep that foot strong. Yep. Coming down. Supposed to be going over here. And coming down. Yep. Over. Down. Yep. Over. And coming down. Yep. Over. And coming down. Yep. Up. Down. Yep. Over. And switch sides. So remember, you don't always have to go overhead. You can change, you control. If you want to feel like you can go overhead, feel strong enough to go overhead, go overhead. If not, go ahead and stop at the shoulders. And just maintain that control the whole way through. And coming back. RDL. Yep. Down. And up. Coming down. Yep. Over. And Coming down. Yep. Over. And back. Coming down. Yep. Over. Down. Yep. Over. And back. All right, guys. We just went through a quick workout. Good way to get a lot of activation throughout your entire body. Got a lot of upper body strength, which you didn't really realize probably, but got a little bit of mobility in. Got some hip mobility. Got some squats, some RDLs, really working all those lower body limbs. Also, really, really jammed through those feet. So, hope you all enjoyed it. Feel free to share this. Work it, do it all kinds of different ways, add some more variety to it, go single leg, double leg, add more weight, less weight, whatever you need to do to make yourself have a great workout. Remember, always stay active, keep working, get better every day. Stephen Simmons, St. Louis, Missouri, Conquer Balance LLC, signing out.